So yesterday I came upon this uh, town. Not sure if you want to call it that. It's kind of more like a camp. Um, but yeah, I have a couple things to do here, and then I will be moving on to other areas. So okay, all right. Let's see. So right now, since I'm in front of this guy, Tuvin Lynch. Let me see what I need to do here. Talk to Brogan McQueen. That's not it. That's not it. Wait, what is that one though? Oh, interesting. Let's get inside of the uh, area. That's not it. Oh, here we go. Preordained encounter. A woman named Liana Cross has come to me for help, believing I'm the fateless one. She has asked me to help retrieve her stolen necklace from a thief named Tupin. Okay, so this is this guy right here. Let's see what you got, bro. What are you skulking about for? We don't like strangers sniffing around the profit. Quit being nosy, or you'll lose the one you got. One swipe of the dagger. Where is Leanna's necklace? Oh, so the crazy maiden sent you. We had names for people like her back in Apatir. Mad crones. Witches. It's best not to listen to them. I have a pendant, but only because she gave it to me. And I'm not giving it to you or anybody else. Huh. I'll buy it from you, or just take it off your corpse, or I'm not looking for trouble. You know what? Um... I'll buy it from you, I guess. Well, that certainly changes things. If you've got the money, I've got the time to take it. And while I hate being the bearer of tidings, I confess that I sold the pendant just this morning. Yo, what a punk. The old merchant Drammel has it. Sorry, no refunds. Yo, so he takes my gold and... Wow, what a punk. Retrieve the necklace from Drammel. Yo, he's an asswipe. Hey, what the hell? Get up, bro. It's good to see you today. How may I help you? I've got a good selection. A little old, a little new. Oh, you'd be surprised how much I pick up from people simply passing through. Uh, let me see. Since you're here, may as well sell some stuff. Don't need that. What is this? Valley hand wraps? Not that good. Let's see, did you buy a necklace from Tuvin? Oh, I certainly did. It's something peculiar. Like its owner, you could say. I have a feeling it'll bring me good profit. Why? Interested in making a deal? I'll buy it from you. Damn, 25,000? You need to give it to me now? I'm not looking for trouble. Alright, let me try to persuade him. Okay, I understand. I'm not an unreasonable man. Clearly, this item was never meant to be sold. Take it. Dubai. Nice. If you need something for your journey, let me know. I could check my inventory. So what else he has to say? If you watch him close enough, you'll see him slip up. It's all an act, I'll tell you. He's acting the part, playing on people's fears. He and the war sworn have a tense relationship. I worry that one of these days that fragile truce will collapse. And then what? You don't want to know about me. Nothing worth knowing, really. I lived in Colm, but the two author raised that village to the ground. I figure I'd try a new road. Literally. It's not so bad. I'm used to moving around, plying my wares, meeting new people. I like old Fanny Flanagan. But Ogre and his gang, and you best keep distance from that troublesome crew. Okay. Be well. Um Let's see. Nice to see ya. So I got her necklace back. Well, I'm here. Let me talk to this guy again. He has Keep some other way. things there. Orgo is interested in stragglers and beggars. He's got important business to attend to. He took me in and gave me a job. Something to live for. He's more than just a man. He's a leader. A seer. Tologris uses the prophet to warn us of the dark times ahead. And to bring those searching for freedom into the fold. We've all ended up here on a journey to find something better. I found it for myself, and hopefully the Prophet can help others find it too. My pass isn't worth mentioning. 
Rotten family hardship. Whoa. I'm done with all that. I'm important now. I've got influence. So don't cross me. Yo, I would end you in a second. What up, Augur? I speak only with the chaos tongue. The speech of which is coming. Yet you're speaking in English right now to me. Cool. Makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, where's this chick at? Right here. Hello! I never doubted you. Our meeting is providence indeed. Thank you, Fateless One. Do you see how the gem glows? How the pendant thrums with power? These are omens. We shall meet again. Whether in revival or elsewhere. Our fates remain entwined. You will be back. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, damn, she gave me mad money for it. What the hell? Okay, that was good, though. Put that back. Uh, let's see, what's this one? Katerina Hoffman. Alright, False Prophets. Oathblade Kirby of the Worst One has asked for my help flushing out a saboteur who's been stealing and destroying vital camp supplies. Katerina Hoffman, who runs the supply warehouse, has been hardest hit. I should speak with Katerina when I get the chance. Alright. Take care of that next. Be safe. Hey there. Are you here to purchase goods from the sundry? Or do you need to set up an account with the warehouse? What you got? Oh, interesting. Alright, not bad. Augur is in trouble, that's for sure. But how to prove it? I'll never understand how people see freedom in his promises of anarchy and fear. Yes, no fate, but no security either. I think she meant to say he is trouble, not is in trouble, the hell? I started in the Pyrderi in Rathir. Imports and exports mostly. We brought in goods from across the Thorian Strait. Business dried up with the war and the blockades, and it felt like time to try something different. A new adventure. Alright, let's see. Kirby said you've had troubles. Ah, that old ruffian. Yeah, he didn't steer you wrong. I've had some trouble. Theft, little looting, even arson. Somebody is trying to cause trouble here in Revival, and Kirby and I have our suspicions about who it is. Even now, there's a missing supply cart out there somewhere, if Kirby sent you to help me, you can start by finding that cart. All right. All right then. Cars over there. What is this? That's that guy from the main quest. I'm gonna go to him a little bit later. Right now, let me go recover this one cart. Vagabonds! Yeah, really? Turn to Katarina. Alright, before I do that... What's this one again? Alright, so this one is the Taken. I found some of the kidnapped settlers from Revival, but many are still missing. Maisie Calhoun believes that the bandits are selling them prisoners for cheap labor. But she doesn't know the location of the market where they are taken. I should keep an eye out for more information as I explore Mithras. Alright, let's check this out. Ooh, okay. Interesting. What the hell is this place? What up, dudes? Vagabonds? Nice. That was a good one.
Okay. What up, dudes? This chest. Is it paid for what? Get rid of that. Okay, nothing interesting. Let's keep going. Alright, that's where things get really interesting. What the hell is this place? It looks really nice. Alright, I'm about to... Over that here. <laughs> There's a bunch of them over here. Can you guys move? Oh, for real. Oh. Alright. Uh, can I get you guys to follow me? Because this would be really good. What up, dudes? Handler. What up, dudes? I want you guys to all group up so I can take care of your asses. No, 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 no. Alright. Cool. It's about to be a waste. Ooh. How much is that? Look at that beautiful experience. Ooh. Damn, only 16,000. It's open for a lot more than that. What's going on? Oh, spiders. Spiderinos. Ninety fate points. Not bad. Not bad.
Alright. Let's go down and free everybody. Oh my god. So much to loot. Invitation to labor auction. Invitation to secret labor auction in the ruins of the Regal Salon Magisterium. Your host, Fanola Flanagan, invites you to attend the next prisoner exchange, a market of valuable labor for those in need of assistance. Every high moon in the ruins of the Salon Magisterium, Mithros. What? The so-called mayor did this? Yo. Bro. That's crazy. Really? Welcome to revival. Why? <laughs> Confront Mayor Flanagan. Okay, let me go this way. Spiders! Long way down. Okay. <laughs> 